This is a review of The Lord of the Rings Gollum, How We Made Movie Magic, which is written by Andy Serkis, who, if you don't know, played Gollum in the movies. So he's obviously the perfect person to write a behind-the-scenes account of the creation of this character. So the basic premise for the book is it is largely Andy Serkis's um, memoir of his experience making the movie, and then intercutting that are sections of commentary by other people who um, played a role in creating Gollum because of course Gollum is a a team effort and so it's great that it has a, a number of different people's voices in there depending on what specific area of Gollum they worked on and so this is a really great idea for the book um, in terms of how much it actually lives up to that is a little uneven to be clear overall i really enjoyed this book and definitely recommend it it's just that as ever you want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting and you're the the right sort of person for this book this isn't really a terribly technical book so if you're hoping to learn a lot of in-depth stuff about character animation or motion capture things like that it's you're not going to find it here it's more for the everyman which can either be good or bad depending on who you are and how much you know about this stuff already likewise the book is not a complete day-by-day -day diary it's more just the the highlights of his experience making the movie the way i view it the sort of content of the text is really divided up into four different categories one you've got the stuff of andy circus talking about his life that doesn't really relate to um, specifically to Gollum or these movies two you have him recapping scenes from the movie or repeating stories behind the scenes stories that we've seen and heard elsewhere three you have the stuff from the other contributors which is usually really good and insightful and then four you have andy circus talking more specifically about um gollum and the making and his experience making of this movie and that's really where the the gold for this book is and what makes enduring some of the less interesting stuff worth it in my opinion so even though it sounds like my opinion of this book is a little bit mixed which it is um i i really say that to prepare you because like i I said overall i found this to be a really enjoyable book i think mainly due to the fact that i was just so happy with its specificity the fact that it's focusing on just one area of the movie because the problem with so many making of books is that they try and cover every aspect of a movie um, within one book and it can never be done in a fulfilling way least of all for the lord of the rings whereas this book and other books that relate to one area in particular of a movie, you get to take more of a, a deep dive and get a better understanding and a more rewarding overall experience, I think. Usually publishers aren't very keen on doing um, like more specific books like this because the fact is they don't sell as well, but I think on the whole they are more worthy books. Thankfully Gollum um, was obviously popular enough to warrant making a book like this. And I was really surprised by how much I did enjoy this um, memoir style of writing. Because I always think I'm the sort of person who would prefer just, you know, uh, cold hard facts come comes a hand in your report. You are just one small cog in this giant machine. I want cold hard facts about how this movie was made. None of this personal nonsense but increasingly the more of these making up books i read the more value i find and the more enjoyment i find i get out of these more personal first-hand accounts and i think that's because well one they're typically more entertaining and engaging to read and two i just find you get so much more depth and insight when you're hearing about someone's personal account and even though per page you might not be getting as many facts or or pieces of trivia or you might have to indulge in a little bit more of someone's ego but the result is you get much more of a feeling of being there being in that person's shoes or just being a fly on the wall of what actually goes into making a movie however even though all those advantages are really great there's also a huge risk in doing this sort of memoir style book because it can also turn out really really awful if the person writing um, indulges too much in their own ego if the book feels too self-serving self-elevating or just that they think that this is a platform for them to wax lyrical about whatever their thoughts and feelings are about anything and really they're just using their involvement in the project to sort of be um, very 
narcissistic rather than focusing on the project itself, which is exactly what some books I could mention have done. But on the whole, I think Andy Serkis has really um, walked the line quite well. Like, there's no sort of biographical information about him at the start or anything like that. It is, it feels very golem focused even though there are quite a few instances where he will sort of be talking about stuff um, that he was doing in New Zealand unrelated to the movie. And even though I could have done without that, I didn't actually find it too bothersome. Um, it was actually kind of interesting to see, like, what does what do people do when they're in the process of making a movie but not actually doing something related specifically to the making of the movie and the huge sort of ripple effect that a that a massive project like this has on a person's entire life and so then lastly let's talk about the visuals which are really really good there's a really great variety of images in this book and i was very impressed by how few stills from the movies there are. Some of the images um, certainly are a little too small, but overall I found it really good. And I don't know if you saw as we were flicking through, but there is a concept piece by Alan Lee, as well as a photo of the full body sculpt of Gollum, which vaguely shows his dick and balls. So you've got that to look forward to.